Welcome to Reflections for the unchurched, the underchurched, and those who just want a little bit of church. We shift to John's Gospel for this weekend's liturgy. John waxes eloquently about God and Jesus and the Word. Enjoy. A reading from John's Gospel. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, this was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me because he was before me. From his fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God, the only son who is close to the father's heart who has made him known. Here ends the reading. Merry Christmas. My takeaway from John's Gospel is that God is in control from the beginning of time and that we are showered with the gifts of grace and truth of the Word becoming flesh in Jesus. Having lost my brother recently and given this busy time of year, my reflections will be particularly short this week. I'm left a bit speechless with my tide of grief at a high point, but I do want to share a few thoughts. In spite of difficult times, I find comfort in reading the Bible and particularly my favorite gospel of John. It seems that with times like these, only the love of Christ can get me through my challenges. As I shared last week, being with young children and watching their joy at the time of Advent helps. And the hugs of friends and family help too. But the peace of reading the Bible and contemplative mood and in a quiet corner of our couch, is of great comfort, and I will be finding myself perched there more often than normal in the coming weeks. I thank John and other disciples, including Brother Rick, as well as Jesus, for making our God known to all with whom they came in contact. Peace and love to each of you this Christmas tide. Amen. 
Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. My song choice this week is Silent Night by Tommy Prophet, featuring the singer Flurry. Remember that you need to click a second time back on the original web page in order to get into the music selection. With this song choice, my hope is that Brother Rick sleeps in heavenly peace, surrounded by the love of a baby Jesus. Merry Christmas.